not being in the best shape of your life is okay. Cheers to that, babe. Because exciting things are happening. This didn't happen right now. Why am I so emotional? Good morning. Good morning, baby. Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> Do you want to go for a walk? You don't have to wake up yet. Wow. Happy 2022, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while, hasn't it? I know I've become this pops up once a month girl, but I am trying to make my YouTube situation a lot more consistent this year because exciting things are happening. And I'll tell you more about it in the next video video i'm so excited i just cannot even tell you but good morning guys happy today is thursday but you're probably watching this next week monday tuesday whenever happy whenever you're watching this but we're absolutely radiating because it is a brand new day it is a freaking awesome day and i'm about to make some coffee my sister is sleeping so she will not love me screaming but i don't care I'm having a very good day. I'm super late. I was supposed to call my friend 10 minutes ago. So I'm gonna do a quick coffee. Not that I actually need it today, but I just love my coffee. Gonna do a quick oat milk latte, cappuccino, whatever it is. And then I'm gonna FaceTime my friend, Jay. Love you if you're watching this. If not, still love you. Today is a busy day. I'm not gonna lie. First of all, coffee time. <laughs> Why do I always recognize myself as Chandler? When I dance, I look like this. <laughs> From Friends, you know, you know. If you don't, what are you even doing here? My favorite TV show in the history is Friends and will always be Friends. I've seen the whole series too many freaking times. Too many times. But yeah, we got a meal, coffee in a second. Gorgeous, gorgeous coffee. Okay, and this is like no barista art, not that you can actually see, but. Oh, oh, it's not gonna go over. Mm. I do it every time. Anyways, good coffee. About to call my friend. That is good. And then I will update you on the way what we're gonna do today, but I really, really late, so. Talk to you later when I have breakfast. Okay, I just finished an hour long call with my friend, which was so, so lovely. So now I'm just gonna have a really, really quick breakfast and then I am going to go hop in the car, drive to town that I need to take part in a webinar. Then I have a PT boxing session, which I'm a little bit scared of because I haven't gone to boxing in so long and I feel like I will suck, but that's okay i'm gonna suck it up and do my best anyway so yeah that's what's going on not sure what's going on later in the day yet because i need to think over my plans we'll see what goes on currently gonna show you what i'm having for breakfast and then we're gonna leave so breakfast is super super simple we have a sandwich with tofu sweet potato lettuce cucumber whatever i'm gonna add some pepper maybe some chili sauce and then i have my lunch really basic as well rice sweet potato tomato hummus not much protein in that super sorry but that's what i'm gonna have super simple super quick and i have to run not me looking like an absolute mess why is the camera so dirty is it better maybe it's just the low light i don't know anyways not me finally getting to where i need to be and now i'm literally gonna take a webinar in my car yay busy days i'm gonna do that for an hour and then i'm gonna go ahead and do my boxing session I'm very excited again a little bit nervous but very excited talk to you soon this didn't happen right now <gasps> guys i almost shat my pants this is insane. What the frick is going on with my body? I'm a mess. I'm a whole big mess. What the heck? I cannot believe this almost happened. Ugh. I was doing the webinar in my car, as I showed you earlier. And I'm about to be late if I don't move my 
webinar or right now right here okay so i was doing my webinar and i was feeling a rush of anxiety coming my way and as i continued listening on because it was all very interesting i just felt myself getting more and more anxious and it's because like i haven't trained in the past like maybe two months basically at all because my iron deficiency i'm gonna continue this when i'm parked because this is no good okay so i'm parked now i can talk let me just get to the beginning of the story so i got diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia once again in mid-october or something like that i then didn't work out actually didn't work out two weeks before that because i was also on a trip to france so basically i didn't work out at all for a month and a half then i went to the gym i got sick for a week then i went to the gym again it was going well for like maybe a week two weeks then i injured myself i pulled both my hamstrings nice <laughs> that was a good moment that was a really really good moment and right before i got diagnosed with my iron deficiency anemia i went for my pt boxing session i haven't worked out pretty much two months have only done one boxing session and that was with my stepdad so in total haven't boxed at all and i got so much anxiety for doing this boxing session that i just when i'm anxious i get diarrhea it just hits me at the most unwelcome times okay so i had to find a toilet like real quick and get over it so now I'm turning into my pd session with a big bad smile on my face because i almost shot myself Oh my god, I look like a freaking tomato. Holy heck. Anyways, I just finished my boxing PT session with Simona. She is amazing. I love love boxing with her i will be brutally honest i do it very rarely because i just don't really find the time for it but every time i do box with her i love love the energy and it's just a whole big good vibe so yeah i hope you enjoyed those boxing clips because yeah, I'm happy with my session, okay? Definitely a lot of rain fog. Definitely a lot of... I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> and definitely very out of shape. But hey, that's life. We go through lows and highs. And you know, you might be thinking, okay, the topic of this whole video is about weight gain. And addressing it, accepting it, embracing it, dealing with it, my whole emotional roller coaster. You might be thinking, I look very positive about it. You know what? Most of the time, I'm pretty freaking okay with it but I will insert a clip of my yesterday's feels after crying not because of that okay the crying is a whole different issue you will know about it in the next video where I'll announce what's happening but the reason why I was also upset was because my body is going through like so much going through massive bloating and I'm just super gassed up I have like massive diarrhea issues obviously we saw what happened before and yeah it's a whole mess so i'm trying to embrace the mess i am right now and just go with it okay it's not the worst thing in the world i have a very supportive friend group which i'm very very grateful for everyone who i know from real life and also the connections i've made online it just helps me get through so much and i know i'm not alone so that is amazing and if you do feel like you're alone you're not there are always always people who are going through the same thing 
listening and there are always people you can talk to and even if they just listen they don't have to say anything but it's so important to know that you are not alone if you want to talk about it with anyone you can always message me in my instagram dms because i absolutely love to connect with you and i would love to be a helpful shoulder for you virtually as well so here is my instagram handle if you do want to have a chat my dms are always open otherwise i'm just about to go and get vaccined so that's that i will now insert the clip of yesterday where i felt really really low about body image and everything so i want to be brutally honest and here's that because today i'm in a much better mood and that would just give it the wrong idea because i'm not always this freaking positive so enjoy that or do whatever you do with that here's me so i wanted to record this because I know tomorrow I'll probably make it sound like it isn't anything and I'll feel fine and whatever but today feeling so stressed out and me being like super bloated like insanely bloated doesn't help whatsoever like I genuinely feel like I'm pregnant but I'm not I'm just massively bloated I'm just putting on weight so I have so much more like cellulite and I'm just struggling with food feeling a lot better with food but still still struggling with food and my workout schedule is non-existent and it's a whole big mess but I'm trying trying my best to still stay motivated stay positive stay inspiring but yeah some days it's a show and I don't want to record this as well because I wouldn't be authentically me if I didn't and it's just freaking hard sometimes I'm currently on my way to pick up my sister but i am in full-on traffic so i'm just gonna hope it won't be very heavy traffic and then we are gonna get some of my favorite pizza because i really really want some pizza and we're gonna split the pizza so anyways yeah actually i saw a friend of mine for real quick but i'm gonna have to go and drive now so bye hello it is a while later traffic was intense but we're just gonna ignore that and also let's welcome my sister hey you know what we got El pizza. Oh, please don't drop it cheers to that cheers. babe mm. so good mm. tomato sauce is so good mm. i wish it was warm though we're literally at a parking lot at the moment because we wanted to eat the pizza. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna see if I can get my Maxine because at the first place I couldn't. I was so pissed off because there was a misinformation situation. Anyways, now I'm gonna see if I can do it at another place because I really, really need to. And yeah, we'll update you when we get home and when something exciting is happening. Mmm, so delicious. So delicious. If you're ever in Estonia, in Tallinn, you have to visit Commune Cafe. The pizzas there, spectacular. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. How is this so good? Just got my booster dose. And I already had a little bit of a headache before, so now it's not going right, but I bought some chocolate to uh, hype me up, so hopefully that will help in this situation. And I'm just about to go and head home. I just want to chill and it will be a good chill night and probably tomorrow I won't do much as well, depending on the vaccine, I guess. But yeah. Ugh. I just uh, can't even drive. I'm just so tired. But yeah, about to head home now. Sorry for the bad lighting. It's just worse in every situation. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now and have a good night. And we made it back home. I am so, so tired. Oh, it actually stays. Let me just grab a fork real quick. I am so tired. As I said guys, I just got my vaccine and I'm just very, very tired. Whatevs, I'm now about to go ahead and eat my so-called lunch. I had two pieces of pizza, but I haven't really had that much food today because the lunch I was supposed to have, I just had a couple of things going on, so I didn't actually end up eating it. So I'm just gonna have it now. And then in a couple of hours, I am gonna have dinner, whatever my thumb's making. Mmm, this is actually pretty good. Simple, but good. Can you see me? I hope you can. Can you be more loud, please? How no. rude. How I rude. I look so beautiful today. Hey, 
anyways, I hope you can see me well. Not too sure. I'm trying to see in the reflection. I think it's all right and the camera is not that crooked. But I'm actually pretty okay. I feel like I'm pretty full, but I do want something extra. So that means I'm gonna make a protein smoothie because I haven't had that much protein today as well. And we gotta make sure I'm not deficient. So this is going to be the most boring protein smoothie you have ever seen because it will literally be banana, water, a splash of oat milk, my vanilla protein powder, and that will be it because I had no ice, no frozen fruit, anything. This is gonna be boring. I need something frozen to add. So I'm just gonna add some frozen strawberries. Okay, so this is my favorite vegan protein powder. I love this flavor specifically. And then this is from the Naked Harbor Supplements. It's an Australian brand. And then I also love Tropica, which is also an Australian brand. And we're gonna go ahead and add... I'm gonna have to add two scoops because I haven't had any protein today. Then we're gonna go in, add a splash of oat milk to add some extra creaminess this is optional and the cool thing with naked harbor supplements protein powders is that they already have like psyllium husk and let me just read real quick maca powder all these different micronutrients that are really really good for you so i love that i don't have to add anything else to my smoothies we're just gonna take this and let it do its magic just gonna open this baby up Ooh, she looks beautiful. Gonna pick a cute straw. Let's try this. Mmm, I just love the taste. Cheers, babe. So let's have the chat we need to have. In the last three months, I've been putting on a lot of weight and sorry, just got a bit awkward talking about this, but I guess it was kind of inevitable with my iron deficiency. Not that it's like automatic that you will gain weight when you have iron deficiency because a lot of women have iron deficiency and they don't gain weight. But for me, whenever I go through like a very low period in life and when the timing is is during winter or fall or just very like cold weather dark outside type of season then i get very manholic super fast and with my iron deficiency it it's hard to say it's like it almost feels like you're too tired to even smile and i was at a really low point and when i'm at the lowest i turn to food and i do that without even thinking so at first First, I didn't really realize that because I was it's hard when you eat intuitively and you're like I'm not restricting myself so if I want something that's okay but then if you have no energy your body needs to take energy from somewhere you immediately think okay sugar so then I started eating just so much like chocolate candy treats cakes whatever and before I didn't really eat dairy then it became a part of my my everyday life again which i was not happy about because obviously it messed up my digestion really bad both sugar and dairy do that to me it's a bad combo so it didn't really work well with you know my self-esteem but i wasn't ever being hard to myself i wasn't like oh i need to starve myself or anything like thankfully i have been very very positive and neutral about the whole situation and i haven't been like depressing over the fact that i'm gaining weight because i definitely have gained a lot of weight and I've lost muscle and it's sad I also think it's normal that you go through different waves in your life but it is like you want to feel confident and good in your body so I have always been very active I told you before I think in my vlogs and previous uh, YouTube videos you probably know this as well or if you're from my Instagram I've always been very active but I've always put on weight really easily whenever I'm stressed it's both the stress and my eating habits when it comes to stress. When I'm stressed, I tend to eat more and I tend to eat a lot of sugar. So yeah, that's been the last couple of months and I've been through a lot and I've gone through a lot of changes which were very difficult mentally. And yeah, I haven't been able to be consistent in the gym and working out for me is such a big part of my mental health, not even about the physical goals 
muscles or anything like that and to be at a place where you cannot physically train sucks because like the only only activity i was able to do was walk i ate probably like twice as much obviously i'm going to gain weight you wanna give me a kiss give me a kiss <laughs> mm. hello i know you missed me so much so where was i it's obvious you know i was accepting the fact from the start i'm probably gonna gain weight and that's cool not cool but that's okay and i'm not worried about it too much but i definitely have days where i feel like i don't i don't feel the best you know i have days where i'm like I look in the mirror i'm like like i still love myself i still love my body but it's like mm, if I'm being completely honest, every time I went to the gym after my after my little reset, I always wore a t-shirt because I just couldn't. I knew I would be so fixated on just how my body looked like and how I felt and that would add too much uncomfort for me. So I was just like, no, I'd rather wear something like a hoodie or a t-shirt on top and just focus on my training. And when I work out at home, I usually train for my sports bra but it's weird because you know i got to a part where i felt like super confident wearing only like a sports bra and leggings in the gym and now i'm like am i back again here in this place wow came on full circle but no like i said it's it's fine i'm fine i just want to address not that I have to address it, but I just want to talk, you know, it's okay. Gaining weight is okay. Not being in the best shape of your life is okay. Not being the fittest you have ever been is okay. And that's where I'm at now. Like I'm honestly the least active I've been in so many years. It's not ideal, but I am really trying to take it slow. As you saw, gave it my all in the boxing today. I'm really proud of myself. I was so nervous going in there, even though I know it's always a blast but i just get nervous because i put such expectations on myself and then i feel like if i can't live up to them i will fail i need to work on that but yeah i felt really good to move my body today and that is the only thing i'm focusing on is not about how much i'm lifting how do i look like how many times a week i train i don't even go to the gym anymore i quit the gym in december december was my last month so i'm only doing home workouts and i'm okay with that i'm totally okay if i'm only going to focus on like doing pilates and if i feel like doing a heat session or whatever i feel like anyways that's the chat because yeah sometimes i do feel a bit uncomfortable wearing the same thing i used to wear and feel like super good in and then i'm like it's just been a couple of months and i just feel so different but i also know it's okay and it's life so i'm okay with that mom is gonna take you out i'm not gonna walk with you no do you know what time it is it's time to watch netflix I'm so so excited about it also i'm actually feeling really good i had a headache before but now i don't anymore which is amazing but the only thing is wow it's a big one but the only thing is this has happened every time i've gotten vaccined but my arm is like really painful about here but I remember the second time I got a vaccine, it was like literally, I could lift this much. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't get much worse because obviously <laughs> who wants to feel uncomfortable? But I'm trying to figure out what I want to watch on Netflix because my ride or die is friends and they took away my friends. I don't know what to watch anymore. Have you watched Manifest? I've heard a lot of great things about Manifest. I don't know. Maybe I should watch it. What the is this series i've literally watched it for 10 minutes and i'm bawling my eyes oh, why am i so emotional my daily vitamins because we don't want to get sicky sicky anymore so first off is a d vitamin then we have c vitamin with a little bit of iron as well just helps to absorb it then we have my actual iron tablets and then i also take magnesium for better sleep quality and also for better recovery in terms of being active and all that so
Okay, I am about to go and just have a good night rest. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up because it supports my channel and also subscribe so you never ever miss a video with me. Bye!